Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer game review, and then we're product review. Uh, this is called Flash Dash by Winning Fingers. It plays ages six and up. It's for one player. You're playing by yourself with the Rubik's Cube, of course, and uh, it is going to have four different games in it. You're going to be able to play the game Catch Me, uh, Remember Me, Follow Me, and Chase Me in this little game box. And uh, we're going to explain uh, how you play the different games, uh, what it comes with, and then, of course, what we think about this product. Down below will be a link in the description for you to go ahead and pick up the game or of course the product if you would like it and of course let us know in the comment section what you think of Flash Dash. To set the game up it's very 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 complex. First you're gonna go ahead and open this box up and then you're gonna go ahead and take out the Flash Dash system. No batteries included, add them to yourself, there's a little screwdriver point here and then push the on button. And that's it. After you've done that, you're simply going to have four games to choose from. And the top of the uh, cube is going to allow you to select the games. There are four choices, um, and you, as you can see them, they're in the top left and top right hand side. If you push Catch Me, you'll play Catch Me. If you play Push Remember Me, that's Remember Me, Chase Me, and then of course Follow Me. And they all play a little differently. It also has a light show, which is just kind of like a, a disco ball, but in, in, in cube form. Uh, the cube itself has different buttons all around the cube, as you can see here, uh, except for the bottom. These are uh, not pushable, but they look like they're pushable. So you're going to be playing with all the faces except for the bottom face here. And what is happening is you'll push the button, the game will start, and you're going to do whatever the game requires you to do. And I'll cover each of these four games now. Chase Me is the first game I'll show you. You push the button, and then it'll start, and you're going to see a red line start to pop up somewhere. And you're going to need to follow that towards the blue. And it's going to be based on coordination as it's going to veer around the cube. And if you're uh, pushing, uh, fast enough you can keep up with it and it will change ever so slightly as you're playing the game uh, how you lose is if you are not fast enough to push the the color so in this case if i just let this keep going eventually it would run out of time for me the the snake would get to be too long and i would lose the game for chase me the next game is follow me uh, you'll push the button to start and then it's going to give you uh, specific coordinates for where it wants you to push a uh, certain one. So this one here is going to go in the middle. Uh, this one is in the middle up and the top. Not fast enough. Uh, and your basically objective is to try and uh, get the exact matches on the pattern as fast as you possibly can without running out of time. One, uh, two, three, and then it'll go to a new pattern. So you'll need this one there, that one, and that one in the far. Uh, so yeah, that's the idea. And there's different colors, and the colors change as you play the game, and your objective is to try and push the buttons as uh, they show up with new patterns. If you mess up on the patterns, you lose, but if you can do it fast enough, you move on to the next one, and it gets more challenging as it goes on. Catch Me is the next game we're playing. You push this, you're gonna try and hit all the red ones and avoid the green ones and bonus points for blue. So I'm looking around for all the red ones I can find, smacking them as fast as possible. This thing will also basically record your score. So as you play, you are going to have an opportunity to beat your latest high score. Don't touch the green ones or you're out. And that is going to be how you play that one. You can go ahead and uh, start it again, try and beat the score of 29 that I did. And then the final one is gonna be Remember Me. Remember Me is uh, Simon Says. Yellow, yellow, blue. Yellow, yellow, blue. You can hit any of the colors, as long as it's the correct color, like any of the, the dots. Yo, yep, yellow, yellow, blue, blue and it gets more challenging. It'll continue to go throughout the uh, game. Yellow, yep, yellow, yellow, blue, blue, yellow. Yellow, yellow, blue, blue, yellow, blue. And I, I think you get the idea of the game. Like, those are the... Those are virtually the different games that you can play. I'll just go ahead and push the wrong one. Oh, I lost. <laughs> and I'll tell you your score, right? And uh, those are the four main games in the uh, this little cube here. Uh, there's, of course, also a light show. You can push that button there. 
and all of a sudden all the cubes are gonna start showing different lights. You can push light show again and it will change the different patterns that you're going to see on the cube here. And uh, I guess you could use it for a disco party. I don't know. It's just fun to watch and see all the different types of patterns that they have here. There's a lower volume setting. There's a higher volume setting. And there's a mute. So if you don't want to hear the music for it, then you can go ahead and push the mute button if you would like. And you can play the games without these sounds if you want. Uh, if you're playing the game that involves remembering things, it will have the lights flashing. If you're playing the one with Chase Me, you're just going to have to follow the lights as quickly as possible, and so on and so forth. Uh, four different unique games utilizing a Rubik's Cube type game uh, with nothing on the bottom, though. You're not going to be using any lights here because there's nothing here. And the top as well. This top is going to basically allow you to choose the different options for the game. So the main four sides you're going to be playing with are these guys here with all the different light patterns available, which I believe are all LED. And uh, that's the idea of the game. Let's, let's review it. Flash Dash is a micro game uh, com compendium. It's got four different games in it. Uh, you can play this pretty much anywhere you want. I could usually see this being played as a solo player, solo player experience only. You could use the memory game to play with multiple players, but mainly it's kind of what I would call a time waster. If you're on a plane, train, or automobile, you're going to be able to play with this with you. You can utilize it and click and clack all you want. It feels good to tap all the different keys on all the sides, and all the games are unique and challenging in their own way. One involves memory, one involves speed and precision, another one involves trying to remember uh, patterns and recognizing where they go on the different sides of the cube and uh, the other one's kind of like a light show. Uh, I fooled around with this quite a bit especially the day I got it. I messed with it. I tried to get as high a score as I could for each of the games then I passed it off to my wife who then attempted to get the uh, highest scores that she possibly could. It's actually one of those, I, I know it sounds weird to say, but like a nice paperweight. I'd set this down on the table, basically protecting my papers, a lot of my review stuff. And then when somebody came along, which they did actually in the last week, I believe, uh, and they picked it up and they're like, what's this? I'm going to play this. And they started messing with it and they beat one of my high scores. And then I had to go back and once again, complete it to beat the high score that they beat. So the competition comes in when players pick up this unique device, mess with it, and then you have to go back and correct the mistake of allowing them to beat your high score. It's challenging. It's fun. It's quick. All the games are very easy to learn and understand. One of those things that you can complete um, all the different games and understand them all within like 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, but if you're really good, you'll go farther than that. And it's one of those things that's going to be kind of a novelty. It's something that I will be utilizing. I'll leave it somewhere. And the next thing I know, somebody will pick it up and play it and I'll come back and pick it up and might play it myself. And the other, other instance I would see myself utilizing this cube here is when I am not available to play other types of games or if I'm on a short trip to go somewhere and I'm not driving, this is going to be something I'm going to play with. Uh, otherwise, it's just really unique, really nice, really cool. It's something I can see for kids. It's a great stocking stuff for Christmas is coming around the corner. And I really think uh, this is something that they would enjoy. Kids that like Rubik's Cubes are probably going to enjoy the different types of educational value this game will provide as far as hand-eye coordination and memory and then also coordination based on placement. It has a big uh, opportunity to, to uh, satisfy kids' entertainment and, of course, their education along. Um, well, maybe not education. Maybe it is education, right? Hand-eye coordination, being able to utilize those skills and provide uh, for you later in life is going to be very, very nice. And uh, all these games are really easy to understand and pick up and play. I really, really enjoyed this Flash Dash Cube. It's something I'm keeping. <laughs> I'm going to be utilizing this whenever I see fit. And, of course, I'll leave it around so that players can play with it and try and beat my high scores. But I know they won't so I'm not really too worried about it. It will just be more of an embarrassment to them as they see that they are not possibly capable of beating any of the four scores I have done on this cube here. That's, that's great. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer game product review for this Flash Dash Cube. If you want to pick it up, you can go ahead and hit the link in the description where you can go ahead and get your own attempt to score your own high scores. Or of course, Christmas is coming along and you want to give something that's like technology, but mixed with something from, you know, an older style of, of play, uh, whether it be the, the Simon Says board or one of those like snake-like type games. So this is one that is, is going to be cool. You can also check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. Don't forget to like and of course subscribe to the channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button as well to see more videos and of course reviews just like this one. Of course they sent me this product to review for you and if you're interested you, you, you have at it. No affiliation, nothing, just, just something I wanted to show you guys that I thought was cool and cool for kids and uh, 
Maybe, maybe I will give it to one of my, I don't know. We'll see. I really like this. Uh, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to playing with cubes with you next time. Huh. Who comes up with these things? I, I don't know.